maybe we forgot. But remember, the aim of the game is we're trying to solve for x. And so we have to undo everything that's happening to it and we have to do it in the right order. Yeah? I know you know. Good. So what's the first thing that's happening to x here? Hawley, what's the first thing that's being happened? What's being happened to it? It's being times by eight. Then what would you do? No. If you said divide, that would end up being eight x over five. Take fourteen. That is different to this, right? So if I'm subbing in my x value, the first thing that happens is I times by eight. Then what happens? You subtract fourteen. Then you divide by. Minus 5. So that is the first thing that we have to undo. So how do I undo a divide by negative 5? You times and you do that to the other side. So we end up with 6 times negative 5. Are we happy with that? This now is... Oh, I'm yelling again into the... Oops. When you re listen to this, it becomes a yell. This, what is 6 times... Good, six fives are 30, a positive times a negative is a negative. And now it's back to that original, original equation where we go, this is easy to solve. The minus 14 is the first thing that we undo. And I'm looking and I see people without masks. Come on, it is weak. What? You should know this by now. So how do we get rid of a minus 14? We add 14. And I'm going to write this just in case I stuff up my negatives, okay? So, what is minus 30 plus 14? Manny, negative 16. He's done it in his head. He's a champion. Did you do it in your head? Oh, <laughs> how, can anyone tell me how did they do it in their head? Yep, Osk? Yeah, I ignore that minus 2. I go 30, take 14 because it's the difference. And because it's the big one that's negative, I just slap the negative in front. So you find your shortcuts, Piper. You do that too? Mm-hmm. you got to listen. So you could solve it from here. 8 times something equals minus 16. Who can solve it from here? Rito, what is it? It is minus 2. If you could not solve it from there, then you're saying the opposite of times 8 is divided by 8. So this is an optional line, that one. I'd like to think you could all go straight to that one. We we? Okay. They can be, this one has got less steps than this first one, but that one is where students will get stuff wrong. What is the first thing to go from the right-hand side? Pardon? So hang on. Hands up. What's the first thing that we're going to do to get X by itself here? Well, that's the first thing that's happening to it. But shouldn't that be then the last thing that we get rid of? So in this case, if I was to read it, x divided by 4, and we're adding this 5. So that add 5 is the first thing that's got to go. Believe it or not, Manny, you could actually get rid of the divide by 4, but you'd have to times every single one. And then we're dealing with bigger numbers. I'll show you that a little bit later. So let's get rid of this plus 5. How do we get rid of a plus 5, Zoe? Minus. Mi minus. So what would I be left with here? Good. Oh, I'm so happy that you said actually minus and not just x over 4. You included the minus. Well done. Well done. Okay, we keep that minus x over 4. What's 2 take 5? Negative 3. Now what? How do we get rid of this divide by 4? See, you've got to pay attention. How do I get rid of a divide by 4? Yeah, I want to get rid of the divide by 4. Right, to the other side. So we get minus 12. And what happens to these negatives? Plus. Yes, they just cancel each other out and we get the plus. We're happy with that. We then, very quickly, I took a punt with you guys because I'm very impressed. Took a punt. We didn't spend ages and ages expanding brackets because I went, they know this stuff. Is that a correct assumption? So when we have a number in front, so again, if I see people are not paying attention, all of a sudden this becomes write everything down at the moment. You're just looking and listening 
and I'm going to get you to copy the least amount of stuff down. So everything inside the bracket gets multiplied by out the front. 5 times x, 5x, keep the plus, 5 fours are 20. Beautiful. Same deal. What happens here? Right, so it's three sevens. 21. Positive times a negative is a negative and we get 6x. So, picking on people now. Who would like to play the game? Yes, Mr. Service. Right, negative times a positive is a minus. Four threes are 12 and you stick the x there. Keep on going. Minus... Ten. Hang on, service, yeah? Yes, What's in the, what sign is in the middle? Is it plus or minus? Why? Ooh. Everyone's saying plus, then I've got a minus. You've got a negative times a negative, which makes it a positive, right? No guessing, no nothing. It's always going to be times by the same sign, positive. Different signs, negative. So here we go. Negative 5 times 9, so a negative times a positive, we've got minus 45. Negative times a positive is a minus 5 fours are 20. So, tell me, what's this one? Hey? Yes, Levi? Negative 2x. Uh... Just five? Just five. Everyone happy? Because you're subtracting everything that's in the bracket. So you're taking the 2x and you're taking the five. If you wanted to, you might want to go, hang on, that's the same as having a minus one out the front. Year 10 advanced. Just did a linear equations test and quite a few got caught with that. It comes up quite often. So make sure that we are on it. Okay? I'll... Oh, they're copying. So sweet. I'll save this to Daymap in, a, in about five minutes. No, people wanted to. So with this, can I just go, oh, I've got X take five and deal with that? No. Excellent. Why do I have to deal with the brackets there? Order of operations, brackets are first. And if you can't do the brackets, then we expand them. Yeah? So we keep the X and we expand our brackets. What's minus 5 times x? We've got minus 5x. Negative times a negative. And now we're pretty much back to our original equation. What is x? 1x. Take 5x. 1 take 5. Pardon? I'm going to have to disagree when you say 4x. Minus 4x. It has to be minus. Yep, it's $1 take $5. Well, you're now owing, right? You're in debt. Jacko Jackson, I don't like this plus 15, right? It's the thing that's furthest away from the x. How do I get rid of a plus 15? They're telling you the opposite of plus, right? The opposite of plus is minus. Zia, what's happened to your mask? And once again, if you wanted to write minus 15, minus 15, feel free. But I'd like to think that you don't do that anymore. If you want to, you can. What's 21 take 15? Socks? Uh, Ollie? I don't want this times negative 4. How do I get rid of a times negative 4? Divide. Now, hello, watching OSC? We write it, divide. Negative 4, that is the same as negative 6 over 4. I like to have my negative up the top. It just looks nicer. But they are the same. Correct? If you write it like this, I'll go, yeah, okay, you're right. But I'll frown a little bit. 
You will lose points though if you've left it like this or like this. Why? No, I like a fraction. It's not simplified. That's right. They're both even numbers, right? So what's a number that goes into both? Don't be offended. Two minus three over two. And for those out in the crowd who think, oh, God, you've got fraction buttons on your calculator. If you actually just pop in minus six over four, it will cancel it for you. So there's no excuse. Yes. Now, we talked about this last week when people went, oh, why couldn't I write minus 1.5? In this case, that's okay. But remember, if you had something like 5 over 3, that's going to be a recurring number. So I would rather you keep it as a fraction, which is exact, rather than decimal. So don't go decimal. So aim of the game. We want our x's on one side. We want our non-x's on the other side. Piper, by all means, come up and run the lesson. Would you like to? Then I have two words for you. Be quiet. <laughs> Is this enough? All right, so it's the same process. You pick a side. What side would you like your x's on? Pick the other side. <laughs> Only because this is a bigger one here, right? So this one has to go. You look in front. Is that a positive or a negative? It's a positive because nothing's there. So this is technically a plus 2x. Well, how do you think we're going to get rid of a plus 2x? You minus it. Absolutely. And what we do to one side, we must do to the other. So we end up with 5x take 2x. This has now disappeared. So we're left with 22. 22, 22. 22. I think this is the one, yes, you do copy down. I think so. Yep. Now what are you just compelled to do? What do you what do you see here and you go, I need to I need to do this? What is that? You're gonna write that as 3x. Right? Now, how do we get rid of that plus seven? Minus. And I go, now, some of you fancy pantsers out there, you might have done it all in one step right at the beginning. Because you might have gone, well, I'm going to get rid of this plus seven right at the beginning. Feel free. I'm not saying do it in steps. Feel free to do it all in one maneuver. But if you're sort of going, I don't remember this too much from last year or just stretching, then we go slow and steady wins the race. So let's get rid of this plus seven. We're going to take seven. Everything's like positive here, so I'm not going to write 22 take seven. Do you need me to? Yeah, no. I do need to. I'll write it. Yes, good. It's the first one. You can go back and have a look, absolutely. 22, what is 22 take seven? I believe it's 15. Can we solve it from here? Therefore, fancy it up, therefore x equals 5. And if you didn't know that 3 fives were 15, you would have gone 15 divided by 3. Whoever's tapping, please stop. You're the one tapping and then you're pointing to Levi. First question. I, wrote, I chose this deliberately, Levi. What can I do? Mia, can I say, four take two, working from left to right, four take two. Can I do it? Can I do it? Why no? Right, so that bracket, Oscar, did you hear that? That bracket is there. So you cannot do anything with this four at the moment, so don't, don't not write it down. It sits, it sits underneath, right? And now... We are going to expand the bracket. Hello, my friend. Absolutely. So, good chap. Minus two 
times 3x is? What comes next? Negative 2 times 1 is? With me, Ollie? And we've got minus 5x plus 13. Before I do my magic, I'm actually going to simplify the left-hand side. Right? Do we see like terms on the left-hand side? Yes. We do. We've got 4 and minus 2. What is 4? Take 2. So I've got 2 minus 6x equals minus 5x plus 13. All right, now it's time to choose. Shh. So, pipes, did you hear that? They want to go right. So we want to put our x's on the right. That means we're now looking at this and you're looking at the whole thing. So you don't want to just get rid of 6x. You want to get rid of minus 6x. What is the opposite of minus 6x? Plus 6x. You've got it. So we go 2. Now we add 6x to the left-hand side. Why? Come on, Noah, watching. We added 6x here, so that disappeared. So that's now gone. So now, I don't need the chatting. So now, we got rid of this take 6x. It's gone to the other side where we add 6x and the plus 13 is still there unless we go, oh, I know I'm going to have to get rid of that plus 13. How would we get rid of the plus 13? And where do we minus 13? The other side. The other side. So, can we do that? Or should I write it down? All right, one step at a time. Minus 5x plus 6x. You owe $5. Now you get 6. 1x. Do you want to write 1x? You could write 1x. I won't laugh at you too much. No. If you write 1x, that is fine. So we're checking 4 minus 2 times, 3 times x, but what are we saying x is? Minus 11. So I'm going to go 3 times minus 11, and then, oop, that was 100. And then we had to add one. Add one. Close my bracket equals. <sighs> when I pop this on the other side, minus five times eleven plus thirteen. It's very sensitive. Uh oh. It's minus eleven. I've stuffed up. Minus eleven. Now. If I don't get 68 here, I feel I'm going to be wrong already. I'm going to be wrong. Now, I can see I'm going to be wrong. What have I done? Look, look, 5 times negative 11 plus 13. What is my right-hand side? It's negative 5. So, lucky we caught that. Uh, ready? Drum roll, please. Huzzah! Right? It works. Shh.